hello, hello! This is Donna Bells, and welcome back for some more Let's Play The Legends of Zelda Majora's Mask. That is a mouthful. I guess I should say, welcome back to LP, L-O-Z-M-M. -M. That doesn't really shorten it that much, honestly, but I get to say Majora's Mask. What's up? It's Majora's Mask. Done. <laughs> Alright, so, last time, I died. And of course, I could have used that little pink fairy that just popped out of that, uh, bush back there, but, uh, she was nowhere to be found. Yeah, way to help me, little pink fairy. It's okay, I don't have a bottle yet anyway, so no worries. Hey, dude, what are you doing? Someone was up to no good mischief and blocked the road to Romani Ranch. Sorry, wait another day. Well, okay, green lips. Have you been chipping away at that since dawn of the first day? Because you haven't made much progress. I think maybe you need a little rest or something because your lips are green and that doesn't look good. Unless it's an STD, then I'm sorry for mentioning it. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are Deku Link now, and while I'm here on Milk Road, I might as well get a map from Tingle, right? Eh? If I can hit him with the bubbles. Hit the bubbles! Come on, hit him! No! I suck at this. Okay, I don't think I'm close enough. Now! I love how the bubbles, like, take the reflections of the colors behind it, and it turns, like, red and green. It's very festive. In fact, today is what? Christmas Eve Eve. So, just for today, Tingle, you're not a fairy. You're a Christmas elf. Oh my gosh, you can be like Buddy from Elf. He was like 30, 40 something and human. So, and, and he made it work. Kind of. <laughs> we got the map! of Romani Ranch. Now where is that? We haven't been there yet, but it's actually what's behind the big boulder over there. Oh, Tingle, how do you do that? I bet you just carry around a big sack of glitter with you, don't you? I mean, I bet he does. Who doesn't carry around a big sack of glitter with him and sprinkle it everywhere? I know I do. Okay, so we actually have to go to uh, the third day, so. Speeding up to the third day. I will see you there, kitties. And no, the guy does not take my advice. He doesn't rest. He actually chips away at that big boulder there for like two days straight. Not good for your STD, man. Not good. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Here we are, dawn of the final day. I actually played the song of double time twice, so I open the way. All right, man, thank you very much. Now go get some rest. Right now. I don't want to see you get any worse, because if that green, like, spreads anywhere else, I'm going to be kind of freaked out. <laughs> Just a little bit. All right, here we are, Romani Ranch. Wow, this place is really pretty in the morning. I like it. The sky's all purple. Actually, this weather, it's still kind of cloudy. Just looking around here. It looks like the weather in Texas today on December 23rd. What's up with that? Last year we had a white Christmas. This year it's like 60 degrees. It's ridiculous, but what more can you ask from Texas? It's a bipolar weather state, so I, I don't know. It sucks, but oh well. Hopefully y'all get some snow, unlike me. Oh my God, that moon. L look! <gasps> my horsey! It is my horse! <gasps> I always wanted a pony for Christmas. Oh my God. Epona. This is so beautiful. A boy and his horse. I love it. Too bad we can't get back there. I hope you're okay, pony. <laughs> this girl. What are you doing with my horse? Give her back. Huh? You... Well, this is Romani. She looks awfully familiar. Oh, she looks terrible. Kind of looks like me when I stay up all night from design projects. Romani, you look like death. I demand you to go to bed right now. Everyone keeps staying up all night in this game, including Link. But Link is like on some kind of superhero drug, so he doesn't count. He's the hero of time, man. He has to stay up and save the world. But, um... Since Romani was added to our notebook, we know that we have to save her sometime in the future. We just don't know how yet. 
So, perhaps at some point we can get onto the ranch before the third day and help her out with whatever she went through last night. Alright, let's break some pots. Because we all know that Link's favorite hobby is destroying private property. <laughs> I love how the design detail here, uh, it looks like dripping paint is coming from those chickens. Petrie likes it too. I don't know if you can hear him in the background, but he's chirping. <laughs> Maybe he can hear the chickens. Look at them. The little chickies are so cute. They just look like little bouncing puff balls. Anyway, what's this guy? Whoa. This guy's hardcore. Look at those Liberty Spikes. Dang. I don't know, he looks kind of familiar, like I've seen him before. Where have I seen you before? Um, oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, those guys are so hot. No wonder this guy's surrounded by chicks. <laughs> no, but really, about that picture, I actually took it back in 2006 when I went to London. And these punk asses thought they were so freaking cool that they had to charge me to take the picture. Which I gladly paid. Thank you very much. Best picture the whole trip. English people are crazy. Alright, so this is Grog. And he's been added to our notebook, which means we have to help him. And he actually just wants to see his chicken friends grow up. And I have just the mask for that. Oh yeah, it's the Bribbon mask. And I actually didn't model it off for you last time because I knew that we'd be using it here in this next video. So... Yep, and remember what Guru Guru said. He said that it matures the animals quickly. So that's what we're going to do. Yep. All you're supposed to do is just march around and gather all the chickies and they'll follow you. Not that Link has any problems gathering chicks ever. Mr. Studly Stud. Linky Poo. Okay, well, maybe not Linky Poo. Uh, seems that I'm ruining his manhood in this LP. And I'm so sorry, Link. I still think you're freaking awesome, badass dude. But you're a kid in this whole game, so you know, you can you can be little Linky Poo for now. If I ever LP like a Zelda game where Link is older, I don't think I'd call him Linky Poo because no 17-year-old wants to be called whatever their name is with Poo at the end. <laughs> I mean, just a guess. Alright, so I'm not really sure how many little baby chickies we have to gather, but I have seven, and there's two that I just saw, so I'm gonna guess ten, I believe. I love how this takes forever, don't you? And of course, the game developers have to put up walls, so there's a challenge. Hopefully, I'm not, like, marching around for ten minutes straight looking for the last one. So. <gasps> there it is! There it is! That's number ten, right? I have nine. Yeah, I have nine. Yay! Okay, I just got lucky. That's good. Woo! Alright. Yeah! Look! They're all getting older! Look! Dude! Look at your little chickens! Stop moping around, you emo! Alright, wait! Go in front of him! Look! Yeah! That was a good shot! <laughs> Love it! I don't really get it, but just seeing these guys with the crest and all... Oh, I'm so emo. I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this for me. Yes! Bunny hood! It's just what I wanted! A pony and a bunny hood. And that's what I get! I'm so happy! <laughs> Did he just laugh? Well, I guess he's happy too. Yay! You fulfilled the wishes of youth! This is added to your notebook. Amazing! Put a smile on your face, dude. You're supposed to be happy, but I guess he's too cool for school, so he can't look happy. Anyway, here's my bunny hood! I love it! And finally, we can go fast! Run like the wind, Linky Poo! Absolutely my favorite mask, or it's not technically a mask, it's a hood, but they used it in Ocarina of Time. If you remember, you had to give it to the mailman so he could run around really fast like a rabbit because he loved rabbits and stuff. So, of course, they had to throw a little homage in there. And look at that moon. Holy crap, that's scary. It's some scary shit, man. Pretty sure if I saw that looming over the town, then that would definitely be the last place I'd want to be. But that's actually where I have to go right now. So, I will meet you there, guys. Alrighty.
Alrighty, here I am. Night of the last day, just minutes before midnight. And I was just watching the sky behind me. Isn't it beautiful? I actually have a heart piece to get here. I, I could have gotten it earlier, but I just forgot. So right now is as good as time as any. All right, here we are, midnight. Let's watch the fireworks show. Since nobody else is probably here to watch it. So pretty. And I love how they, you know, they, they show the tower falling and everything. And the fireworks. It's the same thing as the cutscene, but it just happens every day, so you can watch it every time if you want to. Obviously. I mean, I watch it because I love fireworks. <laughs> Can't wait till New Year's. Hopefully I get to see some fireworks as well. And hopefully y'all do too. If not, you can always turn on Majora's Mask and watch some fireworks at midnight. You know. <laughs> so the heart piece I'm trying to get is actually in the hotel, and come to think of it, like... I don't think I even needed to come up here. I'm pretty sure that the door on the lower level is open right now. I think I just came up here out of habit, but get out of here, kid. You don't need to be in town right now. Jeez, you're gonna be killed. Not really, because I wouldn't let that happen. But yeah, you didn't have to become Deku Scrub Link. You could have just gone through the front door, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, the heart piece is in here. Ugh. What kind of place is this? Macau? Is that you? For those who don't know who Macau is, he's later in the game and this guy sounds just like him. Well, it looks like all this guy wants for Christmas was to get some more toilet paper! Yay! Oh my gosh, she's so happy now. Shameless NCS references for the win! How? Yeah, do not call me that. I do not appreciate that because I just saved you from not having toilet paper. And there's nothing worse than not having toilet paper. Oh. Oh, thank you. Okay, I forgive you for calling me a hoe. I love getting heart pieces. Even if they were just in a toilet right before I got them. Alright, so I helped him out. Nice. <laughs> okay, Link, you might want to put on some hand sanitizer because you never know what was down there. I mean, I could take a wild guess. But still, Link, wash your hands, boy. One weird thing about that bathroom is that there's no door or curtain or anything, which I find really, really weird. And another weird thing, I don't know if this is like odd to say, but I've had lots of dreams about bathrooms. Oh look, a bobblehead cow in the background. But um, like in the dreams, there won't be any doors or like any stalls in large bathrooms or anything. And I really don't know what that means, but I'm thinking it has a little something to do with like vulnerability or something like that. I don't know, is that weird? Anybody, any of y'all have weird dreams like that? Ugh, they're creepy. Anyway, you know what I would appreciate for Christmas? Having Link not die on the third day. So I'm going to just transport my happy ass back to the dawn of the first day. Alrighty, so I guess this is goodbye for a few days. I'm actually going home to Fort Worth for a few days. I'm really excited because I haven't been since like this summer. Like, back when I got that ticket and I was talking about it in Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, it's been too long. But I hope you guys are super excited for the holidays just like me. And if you don't celebrate, then I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching and Merry Christmas from me and Mr. Linky Poo.